shit, man. I, 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 and this, and this is just because of what I've been through before. I come into all relationships and tell females, man, I'm not. Because 90% of women right now, after a month, they want a title. Or they want to force a title on you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, man, nowadays, man, let the diamond hey, hey. fall the way they fall. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. I'm not looking for nothing serious. I'm just looking for somebody to enjoy each other's company. And if that evolves into something else, then it's more genuine to me. Yeah. Then you telling me, oh, I want to be married in a year. Oh, 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 oh. What are we? Are we exclusive or not? Well, listen, mama, I just met you a month ago. I find you attractive. Yeah. I know it's another million niggas that been on your line trying to find you attractive too. You can't tell me. I'm the only one that just met you a month ago. I'm the only nigga you're talking to. The only nigga on your line. After one month, I can't believe that. And then also, my, my thing is, and this is me, <laughs> and this is me, and this is straight up 100. I don't know your real true feelings till I piss you off and see how you react after that. Look for I and that's just happy. being honest. Can yeah. tell the truth. Can tell the truth. I can't leave to make everybody, everybody else happy. Ever, like every every happy, female bro. you ever dated was different after a few months or six months yeah, down the line true. to a year. That's, I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie, that's true. That's true right until there. I, until, until I piss you off and see your reaction back towards me, that'll let me know if I can handle this in the long run. If I can handle that attitude, like, well, I know I was wrong. But she didn't go all outside the box on and we compromised, we talked about it, you showed me where I was wrong at, ooh, we can work it out like that. Then that's something I can probably deal with, we can talk about that. I know if I fuck up or you fuck up, we can sit down and talk about this. Instead of, oh, motherfucker, woo, woo, and all that other stupid shit these women do nowadays, I can't deal with that. Like, like my bro said, nigga, we 40 plus, I ain't got that kind of time. I'm, man, I'm, well, I'm, I'm 30, bro. I'm so 40. I'm, I'm, I ain't got, I'm 40. I ain't got that time. And it's a reason why I'm 40 and I'm single. Because, my, what, what dudes say? If I see a duck swim, but, I know the next duck swim like the last one. I agree with everything you said. Yeah. Right now. yeah. That ain't the reason we're single. <laughs> I want to hear you because, see, after you go through so much stuff, you, it's hard. Some men are like this. After they went through so much stuff with a lady, they make it in their mind. And look, I'm not fit to just settle down with one woman. I'm not fit to just, not the best of what I'm looking for. I'm not fit to just let it be so easy for us to be connected when we connected at the hip very easily. Yeah. It's going to have to be stages of this shit. Like, you got to build up to it. it. To that, to, you know what I mean? Yeah. So some people, once you do somebody bad, me, I'm nonchalant. They don't really matter to me. Him, he going to hold that good. You might be mad years from now. It ain't about years from now. It's just, it's just the, the next. If you telling me he learned, from, he said he learned from what he went through to make nah, him get to the next. If the place. next female telling yeah. me the exact same thing me, she said, but she yeah. mad because I'm telling you I heard this shit from the chick that just fucked over nigga, and you want me to just to say all right because you said it, I gotta believe it. But she said it too, and I believe it. She, one before that said the exact same thing. All I want to help you do this and let us get the business this and this and this, and then turn around and something opposite a few months down the line. So yeah, the next chick that I that quack like the last duck, you was a duck. I'm looking for a goose. <laughs> I need something totally different. Don't give me the same game these other three women that said. Don't give me that picket fence. Black one. Don't be give me the picket fence. I don't want the picket fence. I can get my own picket fence. Teach me how to get a motherfucking metal fence, big iron motherfucking fence. I don't want the picket fence, because you that's what you that's what most of them selling. It seemed like it. It seemed like but every time, every time I've asked these questions, bro, I, I get, I get, I get uh, feedback from men and women, right? And I think, I think these days, bro, I think us men need to cherish ourselves more. I feel like if we cherish ourselves more, we would never be in certain situations. Once because at the end, worth. because at the end of the day, I feel like we was never taught our value. You know, because you know what we was raised as? You know what we was raised as? To provide. Period. Provide. Bring home the bacon. Any problems, nigga, we men, we supposed to suck it up. Keep it pushing for but the that, family. Man, that, that, that's not that's, healthy, that's, bro. That's, but now, people are realizing that shit. That but ain't healthy. The, the old school, man, come home, bring home the bacon while you take care of everything else. Any problems in the house, nigga, I can't show my emotions, nigga. I still gotta provide for my family. Yeah, yeah. What, what Chris Rock said on Instagram? Only men, only, only women, women children, children, and, and dogs, dogs get most love. Most love. Unconditionally. So what y'all what y'all think we we should do then? How do you think we should cherish? Because sometimes, bro. Stop, stop selling and know your worth. 
how would you know your worth and you never got a chance to even value yourself, bro? You gotta learn, you got, at the, once you,